Volcanoes, a natural phenomenon that is not only awe-inspiring but also truly deadly. Science has already thoroughly examined the reasons for the emergence of volcanoes in different places, yet humanity still doesn't know the main question, how to prevent or stop an eruption. It's uncertain if this is even possible. The most powerful eruption in recorded history occurred in 1815 in Indonesia, when the Tambora volcano expelled almost 180 cubic kilometers of material into the atmosphere. The volcano's explosion was heard over 2,000 kilometers away. At that time, more than 70,000 people lost their lives, and due to the ash lifted into the atmosphere, the following year experienced abnormal cold in Europe and North America. Additionally, the volcano completely wiped out the Tambor culture and the Tambor language speakers. Interestingly, current activity beneath Tambora is on the rise again, making a new eruption very likely. There are about one and a half thousand active volcanoes on Earth, with most of them located at the bottom of seas and oceans. Even an extinct volcano can suddenly come to life at any moment. Mount Elbrus, a hugely popular ski resort, is a volcano that, judging by some signs, may also be on the verge of awakening. One of the most dangerous active volcanoes is El Popo, located about 50 kilometers from the capital of Mexico, erupting thousands of tons of ash and hot gases into the atmosphere annually. The greatest danger during an eruption is not molten magma, but pyroclastic flows, the very thing that appears as a river of ash and smoke. The temperature inside them can reach one and a half thousand degrees. Australia is the only continent without a single active volcano. Volcanoes are not limited to Earth. For example, Jupiter's moon Io is literally filled with them. Additionally, there are cryovolcanoes that eject water and ice instead of magma. These can be found, for example, on Saturn's moon Enceladus. The speed of hot lava flows can reach up to 90 kilometers per hour. The eruption of the supervolcano Toba around 75,000 years ago, caused not only global cooling, but also a terrifying effect like rains of sulfuric acid. In Iceland, volcanic heat is utilized to generate cheap and environmentally friendly electricity. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano has been continuously erupting since 1983. The highest mountain on Earth, measured from base to peak, is located in the Hawaiian Islands, Mauna Loa, its volume is about 75,000 cubic kilometers, and its height is almost 10 kilometers, although it rises only 4169 meters above sea level. Mauna Loa began forming over 700,000 years ago. The highest volcano in relation to sea level is located on the border of Argentina and Chile, Ojos del Salado, rising to a height of 6890 meters. Fortunately, it is in a long slumber, Unlike the aforementioned Mauna Loa, the eruption of South America's Huaynaputina volcano in 1600 killed about three million people in Russia as volcanic ash blocked sunlight and caused a cold and cropless summer. Mount St. Helens, which erupted in 1980, covered an area of 57,000 square kilometers with ejected ash. The deepest underwater volcanic eruption ever recorded occurred in 2008 at a depth of about 1.2 kilometers. The southernmost volcano on Earth, Erebus, is located in Antarctica, and it is constantly erupting. A sufficiently powerful volcanic eruption can change the climate on the planet and cause the real end of the world. The prime candidate for the destruction of our civilization is the Yellowstone supervolcano located in the USA. It erupted for the first time about 2.1 million years ago, and the last eruption was about 640,000 years ago. It erupted three times in total. The most permanent volcano is Etna, located in Italy. It has been erupting periodically for over 1,500 years. The eruption of the Indonesian volcano Krakatoa in 1883 was 10,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. As a result of the explosion, the island on which the volcano was located was destroyed, and fragments of rock scattered over a distance of up to 500 kilometers. 
In December 1927, another eruption occurred at this site, as a result of which a new volcano began to grow. The most active volcano in the northern hemisphere of the Earth is Klyuchevskaya Sopka, located in Kamchatka. Understanding these fascinating natural phenomena and their potential impacts is crucial. Accurate information helps us comprehend the potential dangers of volcanoes and enables us to be prepared for their effects. It's worth noting that volcanoes exist not only on Earth, but also on other planets. For instance, Jupiter's moon Io is abundant with them. Cryovolcanoes, which eject water and ice instead of magma, add another layer of intrigue to this topic. They can be found on Saturn's moon Enceladus. The effects of volcanoes are not limited to local areas. They can have global repercussions. Historically, major eruptions have caused climate changes and at times significant impacts on civilizations. Therefore, being knowledgeable about volcanoes helps us become more aware of their potential effects. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thank you.